Hey guys, Simon and Alex here from Top Tennis Training. I don't know if uh, recently you've seen uh, Grigor Dimitrov break his racket and really go crazy at a tennis tournament and get defaulted. If you haven't, you can check it out on our Facebook, Twitter, uh, or Instagram. Um, today we thought we'd give you our little version and uh, teach you a little bit about how to break the racket like a pro, how to do it properly. Now the first thing is, do you want to actually break your racket or do you just want to throw it to show that you're angry and to release a bit of tension from your arm? So if you want to release a bit of tension from your arm, there are quite a few ways to do that without breaking your racket. So let's take a look at those now. Now in this version, I'm going to go straight down with the racket like this and it's gonna go up. The second way is to go flat face down. Now this is the safest way of doing that because it spreads the force of the impact evenly throughout the racket. Now make sure the contact is completely flat on the floor, on the, on the court, and therefore the racket will not break. The third way is just to throw it up and let it drop. See how many, how many rotations you can get before the drop. That could be a really fun way of distracting yourself in the match. Now here Simon's going to use the serving motion to throw the racket into the fence. And it has a chopper grip and he wants to get that racket rotating as it's flying through. And he's got that serving technique really releasing that shoulder to give him as much power as he can going into that fence. Let's try it again, Simon. Perfect. Perfect. We've also got a variation of this one. This is the flat throw against the fence. A bit like a shot put. Again, you're putting as much power as you can. Just like that. Perfect. Now in this variation, Simon's going to use the net to, to hit the racket against. This is particularly good for when he misses a volley. Um, he can go as hard as he wants at the net and he can go multiple times here because he knows that the racket won't break. So you can go multiple times at the net and even throw at the net. Perfect. Now sometimes, if you really want to show your opponent that you really mean business, it's also good to throw the racket over the fence and that will hopefully give you enough time to recover and actually think about what you're doing Go and collect the racket um, and get back to the court and get back to playing. Now make sure there's no one behind that fence so that you can do so safely. Now a great variation of that is to actually do it from the other side of the court. Now make sure you don't hit your opponent in the process, but let's try it now. So now Simon's going to demonstrate the throwing the racket over the fence but from the other side. Now this is again if you've really lost an easy point, if you've had an easy ball to put away, perhaps an easy volley, you want to show your opponent how angry you are, you're letting that racket go, off it goes over the fence. Now it's very important that here you use the technique of a relaxed wrist as if you're throwing a boomerang so that the racket can get a lot of height and that rotation will hopefully carry it through and keep it going as far as possible. Try not to hit your opponent because it could get you defaulted in a match if somebody has seen it or someone's watching. Sometimes you'll feel tension build up as you're walking towards the chair at the change of ends. So do use the chair to release that anger and sometimes you can even use the chair to throw and that will hopefully get you more relaxed and ready to play the next game properly. Now it's very important you consider court surfaces when breaking a tennis racket. Now if you're going very fast against a grass court, the, the court is a little bit softer so you may have to go a little bit harder at it uh, to, in order to create maximal damage. Now if you're playing on a hard court, it's going to be a lot easier to create that damage and you can actually get, get the racket destroyed pretty quickly. Now on the clay, because you've broken the racket, if you break it anywhere where you're standing or where the ball can bounce, you may create a hole in the court because the court is a little bit softer which may in turn make the ball bounce worse next time the opponent hits there and actually make you miss the ball which which may in turn make you break more rackets so if you don't have that many frames in the with you in the bag make sure that you're only breaking it outside of the court so it doesn't affect the bounce now that was a safe way of throwing the racket now if you really want to break a racket uh, and you really had enough, perhaps you don't even like the racket. <laughs> so, so, so this, this is where we're going to really get into and show you how to do it properly. Now the first thing is, if you're holding with a chopper grip, it's almost like a service motion. So if I've got my chopper grip and I'm going to throw my racket down like this, or not even release the racket, 
I'm holding it in a chopper grip and this is going to give me that same feeling like I'm holding a hammer in my hand. Now when you actually hit the ground with the racket, you're going to feel a lot of relaxation in the arm because you've let go of all your anger, you've let go of that stress and, and like Alex has said, if you don't actually like the racket, this is a great way to take out that temper on the court. Got a real piece here that I couldn't break off, uh, no matter how hard I was snapping. So now I'm going to place it against the the post. Ah. Now that's done properly. Job complete. So guys, this is the end result. I think we've done a great job. Uh, who do you think? Yeah, yeah, it's been a big, big success today. We've really learned how to break a racket like a pro. Uh, who do you think has done a better job? Why don't you uh, write a little comment underneath yep. for who you think did a better job on their racket? I uh, would like to hear from you. Perhaps you have another way of breaking a tennis racket that we haven't thought of. Again, write that underneath. Share it with your friends. Uh, and uh, and yeah, press the like button. Uh, it may get a little bit expensive, so you may want to use a racket that you haven't used for a while, or perhaps the string tension is no longer good. Instead of restringing a racket, why not just test out all the different ways that you can break it? Now we go, we obviously do this a lot, so we go through around 20 to 30 frames a week. Uh, but you know, for you guys, if you you know, for Got a bad a, temper, what can I say? <laughs> for a club player, you know, if you're if you're two or three rackets a week, that's a pretty good norm. Go again. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah. laughs>